Hello, and thank you for joining us for the next segment of Daily Bible Bites here at Mount Olive Multicultural Community Church. Today is March 19th, and we are on chapter 36 of the book of Genesis as we move along one chapter a day in chronological order using the quick scan version of the Living Bible. Now today, you're going to be happy that we're using the quick scan version because um, this is another one of the genealogical records. And there's lots and lots of names here, but there are a few names that jump out and that are quite important. So we're going to get into it and we're going to talk about one of those names today. Here's a list of the descendants of Esau. Esau married three girls from Canaan, Adah, Oholibema, Basmath, Adah, who had a son named Eliphaz, and Basmath had a son named Ruel. Esau and Oholibema had Jush, Jalam, and Korah. Then Esau moved to Mount Seir. And that's the quick scan version. Now it goes on and on um, in the, the rest of the, um, the other versions, I guess I should say, um, of the Bible. But in the quick scan version, you've got words that are in bold print. If you've not seen one of these before, the words are in bold print and it shows you what are the, the, the most important points or the key points of that chapter. And in this chapter, the names that I just read are the key points, and they have very, very specific meanings, as do all names, but these have meanings that jump out. Today, we're going to look at Oholi Bema, okay? So when you look at her name, again, she was one of the girls or, or young ladies that Esau married. Her name means um, my tent, or God is my tent, um, the tent of the most high place. Now we're going to jump over real quick to 1 Corinthians, or 2 Corinthians, I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians 5, chapter 1. And it says, for we know that when this tent we live in now is taken down, when we die and leave these bodies, we will have wonderful new bodies in heaven, homes that will be ours forevermore, made for us by God himself and not by human hands. Amen. So this tent is the earthly tent that we're in right now. And for those of us who've had relatives, loved ones, friends, family who have passed on, and we will always have them in our hearts, but we have to say goodbye to them at some point or another here on earth. And it's never a happy thing. It's never something that we're prepared for, even if it were in the case of a, a long-term illness or something of that nature, there's no way you can truly prepare for that parting on this earth. So this is just a reminder in her name, O Holy Bema, that God is our tent. When we leave here, as we just read in 1 Corinthians 5 and 1, when we leave here, when we leave these tents, amen, there is a heavenly tent that awaits us. And even when we're here, God is our tent. So if you can't remember any of these other long, long names, the Hebrew, the Aramaic, the Greek, whatever the case may be, if you can't remember these names, try to hold on to this one, Oholi Bemath. Understand that God is your tent. He's our tent and he loves us so very much. So even when you say goodbye to your loved ones, he, she, young, old, male, female, whatever the case may be, they're home with the Lord. When they Once they said yes to the Lord down here, they had a guaranteed tent and they are home with him. He is your tent. He is my tent. And he was the tent of all those who went before us that knew him and, and accepted his salvation, his grace, and his mercy. Thank you for joining us for this segment of Daily Bible Bites. Please join us tomorrow where we continue with chapter 37. We're getting through these chapters quite quickly. And then we also have our small groups, our Bible studies, and our weekly um, services on the website at www.dltmoreministries.com. They are all interactive. We are there together. We are a family. It's not made up. It's not just an internet-based um, recording or anything like that. We are there together discussing, learning, and growing in the Word of God one chapter at a time in some instances, and sometimes we take big bites of those Bibles, but we want you there with us. Thank you so much, and remember always that we love you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.